Hi Spiritual Superstars, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, where we help you master your spiritual gifts and teach you all about spiritual guidance and your spiritual awakening experience. Let's begin by typing in our 1111s, the opening of the spirit realm, and taking a beautiful deep breath in. Raising our vibration. Challenging your human. Inhale deeply, deeply, deeply. Kissing your higher self. And exhale. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for this beautiful night. Thank you for protecting us, guiding us, gifting us with our spiritual guidance. Thank you so very much for protecting our spiritual superstars, our families, our loved ones. Thank you for protecting our steps. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm hearing the battle is won. Thank you so much. Fear not, the battle belongs to me. Thank you so much. Hallelujah, you can... You can praise God on that one, spiritual superstars. You go on ahead and praise the Most High. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. For the striving is not in vain. Thank you so much. Hello, be thy name. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All is not lost. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Keep going. I'm going to show you what you're made of. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Divine Source. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. Crying is, the, is cathartic. However, when I touch you on your right leg, your left knee, and when I place my hands on your shoulders and you feel my presence over you, you will know that it is the T-H-E-E -E with a capital T. Touching you, blessing you, consoling you, fortifying you, strengthening your steps, illuminating, expanding your vision. Thank you so much. Illuminating your big heart. My cause, my mission. You have asked for thy will to be done. Now you must do your part and receive. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, spiritual superstars. I can't wait to rewind what I just channeled. Whoa, do we have some guidance here today? All right. All right. So we have, it is natural for my body to be well, 58. It is natural for my body to be well. When you are feeling sick, when you're feeling any toxic energy, any out of balanced energy, 
you know that's not of God. You do not have to think specific positive thoughts about your body, but you have to not think specific negative thoughts. If you could ever again think about your body and instead just think pleasant thoughts, your body would reclaim its natural place of wellness. With 58 here, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Watch your tongue. Watch your tongue. Watch it. Bite your tongue. When you, have, when you feel like you're about to say something negative, when you're about to complain, take your tongue, bite, bite gently, and hold your tongue. Literally. You're going to feel your tongue itch. And that's when you're going to know. Spirit is saying, hush. Don't tell them. My business, which is your business, okay, spiritual superstars, when you're telling somebody all your business, when you're telling them something they don't need to know, bite your tongue. When you're telling them something that you're complaining, you're sending out that negative energy, it's going to come right back to you and Spirit's telling you, stop. Let me stop you before you even go there. That's what Spirit is saying to you. Some things need to be said. Some things need to be said to the right people, but I feel some of us this week are going to be stopped in our tracks when we're saying the right thing to the wrong person. When we're sharing our blessing with the wrong person, the wrong people. When we're sharing our gifts with the wrong people. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I see that some of you are exercising your spiritual gifts and spirit is saying i'm so proud of you look at my baby i'm so proud of you i'm just so proud of you. your ancestors are clapping praising you they're dancing but you're doing it to the wrong people you're trying to save the wrong people those people are not for you they're not assigned to you and you got people over here waiting in the background that are assigned to you these are the people that you are supposed to be blessing, but those are the people that you're intimidated by. Those are the people that you're afraid to go and share your spiritual gifts with. Those are the people that you're fearing their judgment, they're criticizing. But those are the people that Spirit has you assigned to because they are assigned to you. So when you go and try to help somebody else, you try to save somebody else, you try to minister to somebody else, you try to speak life into somebody else, they are transparent it goes in and goes right on out they don't receive it they look at you like you're crazy and they criticize and judge you because they're not assigned to you and the one that is assigned keeps looking at you keeps checking you out you feel the pull between you and this person you and the, these groups of people you and this higher level this echelon so you've got to get away from who you used to be that narrative is negative, it's toxic, and you've got to speak life into yourself, and you've got to remind your human that you are who you are becoming. Speak life into yourself before you speak it into someone else. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With 58 here, we have a new foundation beginning. We have a new story that we are creating, not just a chapter, but you've close that book of life to begin a new book of life in the journey that you're on you've already manifested so much so very much in wealth and abundance and now spirit's asking you to claim it receive it okay you did well with what you were given now step forward because spirit has something way more to give you that spirit has promised you You're going to have to rest. Take time out for you. Okay? Stop trying to please everybody. Stop trying to minister to the wrong people. As Spirit said, it's going to be time for you to take a time out so that you can re-strategize, so that you can go on in the next direction. Time out. You've been so busy looking, taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of you spiritual superstar to take care of yourself remember what spirit said about god's hands on your shoulder well honey you're gonna feel god's presence 
and it's gonna feel magnificent okay thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much some of the battles that you're in don't even belong to you and some of the battles you keep going because you are feeding it with negative energy and it's keeping that energy going but spirit already said the battle belongs to god the holy spirit already spoke and said that's not even your cause that's not even where i got you going your plan is over here yet you keep trying to trail behind and go back to the past and trying to fool with these people and that people and this project and that over there, which are all dead ends. That's why they are meant to stay in your past. And Spirit got you going over here and you just afraid. Some of you got new love coming in. It is going to happen with or without you. But if it's going to happen without you, then you're going to miss your blessings. And we can't afford to do that, right? You can't afford to let this reignited relationship with your spouse, with your partner, with your wife, with your husband, with your significant other, with your first love coming back on in. You can't afford for that to just to be missed. You can't afford to just miss the boat again on that, right? You have to do the work. And Spirit is saying, come on within, come back to me so you don't miss it. New romance is imminent. That means it's going to happen. Dear love, it's going to happen. And you want to be sure to receive it. Either with a newcomer or through a reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. And so where Spirit's sending you, Spirit is saying, Come hither. Come to me. Put that on. Wear your hair like that. Groom your hair like this. Put this cologne on. Wear this body spray. Use this soap. Put on those shoes. Take this route. Take the next bus. No, don't use that train. Sit over here when you get on the next train. Get off at this stop. Oh, I know it's two stops before you normally get off, but I want you to get off at this stop. Go on and check your, check your time on your phone. So that that paper can fall from under your arm. So that you can receive the help from your future husband. From your future wife. So they can pick it up for you and your eyes connect. Boom. And the chemistry is born. Listen. When spirit's pulling you to your twin flame, your soulmate, your lifetime partner doesn't have to be a spouse. Doesn't have to be a legal marriage for you to be married. Let me say that again. Doesn't have to be a legal marriage for you to be spiritually connected and committed for your lifetime. So when you are reigniting the passion, when you are renewing your vows, when you are making it happen, Spirit's going to be pulling you to these certain places. Go into that bookstore over there. Go and treat yourself to a piece of pie over at that beautiful place that you've been trying to check out forever. Go on by yourself. Social distance, bring your book. Keep it safe. Use your hand sanitizer. The one that Nicole has. <laughs> the best. The absolute best. And sit there and wait for someone that I've got assigned to you to ask you if this seat is taken. And you're the only two out there at that sidewalk cafe. Anybody that's going through tough relationship issues this week, honey, the clouds are there and the heart-shaped balloons are there for a reason because it is a minor loss. If you're single and you're and you're kind of sad about it, minor. The argument, the disagreement, minor. Look at it from a different perspective. Change your point of view. This breakup, the separation that you're having, it's a difficult moment. You feel like all is lost, but it's not. It will not last. Take this time to really develop yourself, to work on who you are, Becoming, not who you used to be, 
that side of you is gone. No matter how much your partner tries to keep bringing up the past, no matter how much other people keep trying to bring up the past, no matter how much people keep trying to say, I don't know how you can do it. Oh my goodness. Did you ever get married? Why didn't you get married? So what are you going to do? All of that busyness? Leave it. Sometimes you don't have to answer the phone. Sometimes you don't have to answer people who are bold enough to ask you about your business to your face and expecting an answer from you. All you have to do is say, you know what? I'm going to keep it to myself. I wish not to talk about it. You know what? I don't know. You know what? You're crazy. Say what you want to say, but say what you feel. You're crazy. And then some people are going to ask you, no, nah, I'm just, you know, I'm serious. Well, so how'd it go? Bold. Don't take the hint the first time. And you could politely say, no. I don't know. I feel like God's telling me not to talk about it. I'm just going to keep it to myself. Put it all on God's shoulders. God's shoulders are there for you to lean on. Put it off on God. We don't talk about God enough when, when we're in that scared situation of somebody pressing us for information that is none of their business. In your love life, lean in on God and put that on God's shoulders and release that burden. That's another way to let go and let God. So change your perspective. Consider the other person's point of view, ideas, concerns, feelings. Spirit is encouraging you to compromise. Try to move forward. Find the balance, the harmony. Resolve to seek the high road here. Because sometimes you just need time. Right? Mercury is retrograde and communication is off. You know, they might be pressing you for commitment and you're just like, I don't know. Can we reconvene? Maybe around middle of December, maybe around Christmas, New Year's, can we have that conversation then and we both decide on what we want to do. Can we do it then? I'm feeling kind of off. And if they can't respect that, then that's pretty much the way your relationship is going to go if you, if, you, if you decide to be rushed, be hurried. Seek that compromise, right? How many times do we have to be told that, right? So if you're single and you're not dating, compromise on your standards, your boundaries, your requirements. What are they? Do you have them written down? If someone said, what are your dating requirements? What are your relationship requirements? They're different. Well, my dating requirements are uh, that, you know, I don't really want to pay. <laughs> I don't want to pay on a date. I don't want to pay anything except for my attention if it's great conversation and your energy is the bomb. But I don't want to pay anything financially, you know, and I know I don't have to. So that's a dating requirement. Now, somebody else may say, well, you know what? It's got to be even. It's got to be Dutch, as they say. It's got to be half and half. It's got to be you pay sometimes, I pay sometimes. Well, you know what? We're not on the same page right off the top. <laughs> what are your dating requirements? What are your relationship requirements? What are your living requirements? What are your requirements? If you got children, you've got to have requirements for that. You've got to be able to lean in, compromise. But in order for you to even know how to compromise, you've got to have that discussion, that conversation, meet in the middle in this beautiful sea of spirituality, which is the water here. And you know, no one else needs to see because you're behind that wall of protection. So single or coupled up, spirit is reminding you of the power in relationship balance. Let go of control and, sell and seek new ways to achieve the relationship harmony you desire. Release yourself from the karmic ties to control the outcome and the fear you've been giving your energy to. This is the week of the Libra New Moon. 
And that energy is new beginnings in love. It's romance. It is amazing in money as well. So when you're finding it difficult to take that next step, is it a risk you should take? Is it not? Is it smart? What does God want you to do? Well, here is the way you're going to do that. You're going to follow your spiritual guidance. And I'm going to share with you in a minute exactly what I say that works every single time. But to make your decision, you can try asking yourself, as Spirit is saying right now, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it? And so the way that I term that is, Divine Source, please show me my spiritual guidance the way that I can receive it. And thank you so much. If you want me to do this, oh, I'll be so grateful. I'm so happy now. I'm thankful. I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much. I will do it. I won't look back. I'll pour my all into it. I won't complain. That'll be it. I'll pour my energy into it. And that's, that's that. I love it. Thank you so much. But if you want me to do this, I will do it. I won't complain. I'll be grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I won't turn back. I'll do it. And I won't even do anything other than. And I'll be so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's it. That is a divine promise. Now you break it if you want to, okay, spiritual superstars, but I highly encourage you not to. And that's what stops a lot of us from even making that promise to God is that we don't have control. After that, we are saying, thy will be done. I don't want my will to be done, and I will follow your command as my creator, as my father, as my mama, as my, my savior, as my all, as my everything. I will do what you want me to do because I'm going to feed faith and I'm going to starve fear. Okay, so just remember this, this week, we're not alone. You don't have to do things on your own. You're not a one woman or a one man island. Spirit is saying, seek me and everything you say and do, just remember that you have hope. You've got help. You've asked for my help, and now I'm giving it to you. And Spirit is saying, fall back in love with the relationship that you have with me. Call on the Most High. Your spirit guides are around you, dear loves. They're reminding you that they are your family. They are comforting you during this difficult time that you're going to feel this week. Your angels are sent by the Most High to hug you to love you through each moment. Now remember what Spirit told us in the beginning. What hand is going to be on what knee and what leg and shoulders and all of it. And then I love you through each moment. You feel like breaking down because those tears are cathartic. But when Spirit says stop, that's it. You stop, you feed faith and you take that next step. You do what Spirit is saying do, even though you're not totally ready. You don't understand why you're making this decision, why you're making that next step, why you're talking to this person, why you're calling that person, why you're setting up this interview, why you're doing this, that, and the other. But you're doing it because you're feeding faith. Call on God. Cry out to God. Talk to God. Fall back in love with the Most High. Okay. All right, so we have the spirit of the south. We've got 11, which is karma, okay? The, this new moon this, this week is absolutely phenomenal to start new beginnings in love and money. Okay, love and money. And it's a blessed occasion for us. This 11, the spiritual meaning to 11 is karma. We must know the steps that we took in order to avoid them, learn the mistake, and take the next step forward in a whole new, brand new way. Vulnerable, scary, crying all the way through it, sling a snot the whole nine yards, stumbling, can't even walk through it. You got to crawl. Some of you got to inch your body across just like babies before they can even crawl. Whatever you got to do. 
Some of you going to just float across because you can't even move your own feet. Spirit's got to break those doors down. Spirit has to close them, slam them in your face for you to get up and out of that stuck position. Stubborn. Some just glued to the situation you're in. Spirit's got to do it for you. Okay? Meaning people going to break up with you. Meaning people going to get fired. Meaning somebody's going to ask for a divorce. Meaning someone's going to say, I just don't like you anymore. Meaning someone's going to say no rejection in order for that door to close and spirit's gonna say come to me come to me i know you just got evicted i know you just got that note sent on your door i know that it came to you in the mail i know that this letter says that you're not gonna get any more benefits i said come to me i said start using your gifts i said stop fearing all of that because I gave them to you to use to bless other people, not to take to the grave with you. I gave them to you to be purpose-driven throughout your life. Now move your feet and come to me. Come through that door and satisfy my needs so that I can satisfy your needs. That's what God says to us with that energy. Lessons, growth, and trust. Lessons, growth, and trust. You have reached a significant stage in your own growth. Inner transformation occurs right now, spiritual superstars, because you have outgrown the parts of yourself that are no longer serving your higher good. You are discovering the power of the self. The self represents the emotional maturity derived from life's lessons. Remember this. You are blessed. You are blessed. Be thankful, grateful, and blessed. Gather with a grateful heart. Wake up with a grateful heart because you are so blessed. The fire of the South heralds a time of much achievement. It brings it to you. Facing your fears is never an easy task. But dear loves, it is now within your power to control your fear. Be gentle with yourself. And feel good about where you are. That's why Spirit said take time out. Remember that? Learn to love yourself and others unconditionally. Lessons can be painful at times, so we should not always take ourselves too seriously. When we lighten up on life and on ourselves, we can see things from a healthier perspective. What does Spirit say to you? Change your perspective. Look at it from their point of view. In time, when you look back on a difficult experience, you will understand the importance of the lesson learned. Here's our prayer for the week. Spirit powers of the South, divine source, heavenly ancestors, please teach me to love and grow through the gentle fires of compassion. Help me to learn to trust in Divine Source's plan for me and to view life lessons with the understanding that my mind, heart, and soul are one with the Holy Spirit that lives inside of me. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, we are going to wrap it up with a pick three. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So get ready. 
You saw that one already. Get ready. All right. Flying all over the place. Spirit's got blessings flying in, honey. Just for you. Stay positive. Don't you let that negative energy take you out of your comfort zone. Me too. Me too. Okay. Thank you so much. Take you out of your comfort zone of your relationship with the Most High. But allow the Most High to take you out of the comfort zone of stagnation. Because we can stay in an unhealthy connection or situation just because we know what to expect. Even though we know it's unhealthy for us. We know what to expect from it and that gives us some sort of comfort. So spirit doesn't want that for us. Spirit wants more for us. Ready? Placement number one. Placement number two, placement number three. Placement number one, placement number two, placement number three. Listen to what spirit tells you. Deep breath in. Deep, deep, deep. Challenger human, you are connecting with source and you are blasting away the fear, the pain, the sadness, the anger, and blow it out. All right, placement number one, placement number two, placement number three. Spiritual superstars, which one did spirit say to you? Please write it in the comment section. Please share it, type it in, what placement it is, one, two, or three. And remember, if you haven't put your one, 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 ones in there, the four ones, please make sure you do that. Ready? Let's start with placement number one. Okay, so be, be aware that you are going through an initiation and spirit is absolutely telling you that you are empowered by it. You are breaking away some chains. I mean, they're falling down. Some generational cycles that are negative and toxic, generational curses. But honey, you've got everything you need. Definitely want you to create your ancestral altar. Today, start it. All you need is a, just a place of sacred um, space and uh, watch out for the, uh, or look into the video that we have on it. Um, and certainly we have um, some videos and um, different things that you want to use at spiritualguidanceacademy.com. But you are in... An initiation and you want to invoke the energy that our ancestors are providing for you remember that you are blessed and you are way too blessed to be stressed reflect on where spirit is sending you what our ancestors your angels and spirit guides are saying to you and reflect on what you know to be true Sometimes when we are battling the energies that we're blessed with, it could be disease, it could be sickness, it could be uh, marital problems, it could be family issues, it could be just disharmony and discord in your finances, it could be your emotional, mental health, any of it, it is destructive and spirit is just saying, you know what, invoke, you have the power to summons all positive energy your way. You have the power to pray that into existence. You have the power to manifest that which you so desire. And so reflect on who you are. Because then that way, no one can tell you different. 
God told you who you are. You are blessed and highly favored. So no one should be able to tell you any different. Shine and shine bright. Let everybody see your light. Have fun. When radiance comes up, the summer solstice, it's time to get out and have fun. It's time to play and laugh and dance. Celebrate. Have fun. Welcome that energy in, even when you don't understand why you're having such a hard time, when you are tired, you are weary, you are weak, you have had it. But the moment you say, oh, Lord, I'm all in. God, I don't know what to do. I don't understand this. But I trust you. I trust in thee. I believe. I still have hope. Even though I can't see one millimeter in front of me, I still have hope that if I take a baby step forward, I will land on my feet. I will be okay because I know you've got me. Placement number two. Placement number two. Placement number two. Is that you? Honey, you are shape-shifting into who you are becoming. Don't you forget it. When you look up at the sky and you see those different shapes, when you see the image of a lobster, when you see that baby, when you see a heart, when you see the angel in the clouds, when you see the locomotive, the teddy bear, the cat, when you see the word meow, Honey, spirit is telling you, you have that power too. And so even though you don't feel like who you are becoming, even though you don't feel like this empowered superwoman, even though you don't feel like this beautiful superhero man that is just amazing in everybody else's eyes, even when you don't feel like the most beautiful young lady, even when you don't feel like the most adored young man, Spirit says you are, and so all you must do is feed faith, starve the fear that you're feeling, and move and act in that way. You can act. It is not faking it until you make it, because the second you choose to wear that energy, the second you choose to jump into that persona, you will have then taken a leap of faith and you will have said, oh, spirit, I know you got me. I'm diving in. Mm, I'm in. And I know I'm going to birth wings as I fly. So you are no longer your name, period. You are your name 2.0. You are who you are becoming. You are no longer your past. And you don't have to tell everybody where you're going. Focus on where you're going. What you focus on expands, right? So even if you don't have amethyst, you don't have to worry about it. Amethyst is a beautiful crystal, beautiful energy to allow you to see through, not to allow you, but to enhance seeing the mysteries of the unknown, the unseen. But you can see through your mind's eye whether you have amethyst or not. We all have that power. We all have that ability and you are capable. And spirit is saying what you focus on expands. I'm going to need you to focus on what you want to manifest. And I need you to know that you are so powerful, placement number two. You are so powerful that you can manifest negative prophecy. And so don't you forget it as you see that shining in front of you. Manifest that which you so desire. Focus on it even if you can't see it. You know that spirit is telling you to focus. But what am I focusing on? What's in your heart? No one else needs to know it. Because spirit didn't give it to me. Spirit didn't give it to the other person. Spirit didn't even give it to your spouse. You don't even have the same vision that your kids have, that your parents got. You ain't got the same vision that your professor has. You don't have the same vision. You don't have the same dream, and you shouldn't because you are unique. You are created so special, and you are the only one that can 
manifest that dream. You are the only one that can bring it to life. So Spirit is saying, focus on what your soul desires. And if you're still questioning that, just give. Be of service. Be grateful. Just give. Be of service and let that energy come back to you. And I promise you, people will tell you what your purpose is. Matter of fact, tell me in the comment section what my purpose is. Please, everybody, comment what you feel like I do for you. What do I do to help you? What is my calling? What is my purpose? Tell me what my life mission is. Would you do that for me? Would you please do that for me? Because I'm going to look and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respond to everybody that does that for me. I so appreciate that. Placement number two. Move your feet. It's going to happen. Remember with or without you? Well, honey, that motion is happening. The current is strong. The surface is calm. But don't make any mistakes. That undercurrent is going. And spirit is blessing you, shining on you. So just keep on going. Because even though you can't see what's around the corner, it's there. All you have to know is that you are being guided by divine source and spirit is expanding what you're focusing on. It's moving. You are taking that next step. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new beginning. And spirit is moving you there. Sometimes you have to ask God to just move your feet for you, right? Placement number three, placement number three, placement number three. You ready? All right. Breathe because you're going to go through some discomfort. And when you do, Spirit is asking you to be vulnerable. See, when we're breached, it's uncomfortable. And it's not natural. It ain't normal. And it's not going to feel good. But we're only this way for a little while. This too shall pass. And you've got to know that this week. This too shall pass because you are too blessed to be stressed. Thankful, I'm grateful, I'm blessed. I'm thankful, I'm grateful, I'm blessed. Be vulnerable. Glow through it. Grow through it. Accept it. Flow. Submit to the will of God. And be vulnerable enough to see and receive what God has for you. Okay? And then Spirit's going to reroute you. Oh, okay. So you're breach right now. All right? You're upside down. You're going through life kind of weird. You feel like life is, you know, just really attacking you sometimes. And it's just really rough. You don't know which way to go, which way to not go. But then... When you just be vulnerable and say, oh, gosh, I don't know what to do. Lord, please just show me. Thy will be done. I am open. Please, please show me. I don't want no, I don't want my will to be done no more. Then that's when spirits, oh, okay. You know, fed faith. I got you. All right. All right. Go in this direction. Because you're going to use that same statement that I've used uh, for... 30 years Spirit is creating harmony in your home Harmony in your home So you know in, in order for you to get that, to that harmony You do have to suffer a little bit And it's, it's whew, Right But when you go through The storm Hang on to that hope, that harmony is there, balance is there, it's coming. You're going to have to make some changes in your home life, I feel. But your sanctuary doesn't necessarily have to be your home. It could just be where you're at. When you go for a walk, you can go to a certain point in your hike and you realize this is it. This is peace and tranquil. This is the epitome of tranquility. Oh my gosh. This is the serenity that I can't get inside of my home. I can sit out there and listen to the birds. I can harmonize with nature. I can't do that in my house right now. So, knowing this uncomfortable energy, 
can be best met through harmonizing with the music, with nature, with putting on your in your earbuds, your headset on, playing your music as loud as you need to, drowning out the negative voice, drowning out that toxic energy, drowning out the fighting, the fussing, drowning out and staying away from the abuse, all of it, the demons from the past. Hit it hard with your music, play your instrument, Pump up that music. Turn up the volume. But don't forget to start your day off with listening to some inspiration, some motivational track, video, audio, something. And tune in to God's voice. And harmonize with the word of the Most High. Ooh, well, spiritual superstars, I pray that I have given you value today. Don't forget, do me that huge favor if you would. I really would appreciate it. If you will take a moment and write in the comment section what you feel my purpose in life really is. What is my life mission? It's not a trick question. I promise you that. But what is my purpose in life? How have I helped you? Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. May God continue to bless and guide your journey and your family. Stay safe and healthy and be totally blessed. Mwah! I love you, spiritual superstars. And I'll see you very soon. Have a beautiful week.